two super easy ways to run Stable Cascade locally today. Hello my friends, how are you doing? Let me show you how to set everything up in a very easy way. But first, what is Stable Cascade anyways? Let's get started. Stable Cascade was introduced about half a year ago by Verstien who built the architecture for this and now it is an official model supported by Stability AI. I will link this below the video. Now this has a lot of benefits for you. First of all, this is running a lot faster on your computer, which is very good. And also it's much better with text and supposedly also with hands. A lot of technical stuff here. I will skip over that. Now, first of all, a big shout out to Ports XYZ on Twitter. You should absolutely follow him because he does amazing experiments with AI, specifically with AI video. He helped me to set everything up. He's also on YouTube where he's doing regular live streams showing his experiments. I'm going to be a guest of his live stream sometime soon. So the first one is Pinocchio. This is actually something that you can use to install with one click the newest things that are happening in AI. So this is super useful when you click here on the download button. This will ask you if you're going to use it on Windows, on Mac, on Intel, Mac or on Linux. Simply run the installer. You can see here, for example, for Windows, download it, unzip it, run the installer for the Windows protection, say run anyway, and then simply let it run. After the installation has finished and you open up Pinocchio, you are greeted by a window like this. Click here on discover and you will see here either stable cascade right away or you can click here and search for it if it doesn't pop up here. Now version 1.1 is not the stable cascade model version, but the version of this software UI here that is used. So simply click on that and then run through all of the install steps. That takes quite a while, but other than giving some OK once in a while, you don't really have to do anything about that. Inside of Pinocchio, select the stable cascade and then click here on download. This is going to start the install process. Once everything has downloaded, you will see it in here and you can click here and there on the left side, there's another install button. You need to click that to run through the rest of the install. And this again might take a little bit. There's also update button so you can see if there have been any updates. And when you're finished with all of that, there's a start button here that you can click to start the process. When you click that inside of the Pinocchio window, there is going to be a terminal where you can see what is happening right now. And once everything has loaded for you, you have here your local address. Click on that and that will open up the interface. It's not very pretty, but it works very well. And down here you have the advanced options. You can set here, of course, the size and the other settings in here, similar to what you can do in ConfUI. You can see here where the rendering is happening. This looks very different from what you usually see with stable diffusion. The image stays a little bit blurry and then it turns into a sharp image. This is the decoding that's happening. So here we have a very nice image of this kind of cowboy house. Let's run a different prompt here. You can see it's really rendering very fast even while I'm recording the video. Again, we have here the blurry version. This is decoding and then it turns into a sharp image. And as you can see, the result is pretty beautiful. You can right click, open it to see the image in a higher resolution. As you can see, it's very nice details. It's not the same quality you get with SDXL at the moment, but it is pretty good, especially for the speed we have and considering that this is a very new model. Now, the second method we are going to look at today is actually ConfUI. Someone has built a very simple note and this is also easy to install with a little bit of a hiccup, but I will show you how to get around that. The first thing you need to do is, of course, to copy the web address up here. Then you go into your ConfUI I folder and again in the ConfUI folder in there in the custom notes folder and then up here in the address bar type CMD hit enter 
this opens up your command window. In here you type git clone and then put the web address and hit enter to clone the git project into your custom notes folder. After you've done this, you're going to find in here the ConfUI diffuses stable cascade folder. You might want to open that up. Here you have the requirements.txt. Right click on that and then click on copy as path. After you've done that, you need this exact text here. So python embed python exe minus m pip install minus r and then the address of your requirements text. I have actually put this text here in the information below the video. So you only need to copy past that and then put your address behind that. Then copy all of this. Go into your ConfUI root folder. Again, click in the address bar and type CMD and then put that text in here and hit enter. This should run through the requirements for you to install everything you need as requirements. Again, this might take a while. After you've done this successfully, go and run your run NVIDIA GPU bed to start up ConfUI. Inside of ConfUI, oh, look at that, leave a like, that's a good idea. You have to add the cascade node, which is super easy. Just double click in here and type cascade and you can see here diffuse a stable cascade it's only one node then you drag this out here and select save image so you have the exact same thing that I have already built. It is important to note that the first time you run this inside of your command window this will download a lot of stuff around 20 gigabytes of models and data and other things it needs so the first time this is rendering it takes very long because everything has to be downloaded first. And as you can see here, it is super easy to use. Select your size. It should be bigger or equal to 1024 by 1024. And then the rest of it, you can either experiment with or leave as it is. You can see here that this is working in two different render steps. The first one is 20 steps for the rendering and then another 10 steps for the decoder steps. You can also set higher resolution, of course, like here I have 1028 by 1028. You can, of course, also set other higher resolution or different ratios. And as you can see here, this is rendering blazing fast with only 18.62 seconds on a 3080 Ti with 16 gigabyte VRAM. It's crazy how fast things progress. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching. Bye. Oh, you're still here. So uh, this is the end screen. There's other stuff you can watch like this or that's really cool. And yeah, I hope I see you soon. Uh, leave a like if you haven't yet. And well, um, yeah, I wish you a good weekend.